our world has actually been suffering higher temperatures. Indeed, when I was growing up, 27 degrees was the highest temperature. Today, 27 degrees is the average temperature. Our scientists at CCRS has projected for us that by the end of century, temperatures in Singapore will be up to 4 degrees higher than the average mean. But what's more worrying is sea level rise. We could have about 1 metre higher sea level than what we have today by end of century. If you put together 1 metre rise of sea level, high tide, with storm surge and intense rain inland, that could be about 4 metre rise. First, understand from science what climate change means for us and how do we tackle it. Two, mitigating against climate change, which means doing whatever we can to reduce the greenhouse gas emissions. And three, adaptations, taking action to make sure that when climate change is upon us, we are ready for it and can overcome it. We are taking many measures to reduce our greenhouse gas emission. For example, we are going to solar energy where we think we can produce about 2 gigawatt peak by 2030. Now this can power something like 350,000 HDB homes. But Singapore is challenged because we don't have enough solar cover. Most of the time, we are under cloud or there are intense rain. Indeed, the 2 gigawatt that we can produce will probably meet at most 10% of our needs. Therefore, we do and can look at alternative future energy sources and one of them can be hydrogen. We have to increase the measures and infrastructure that we have to build in order to prevent Singapore from being inundated with flood when intense rains fall. Take for example, Marina Barrage, where I'm standing in today. Marina Barrage was built to prevent flooding in our city area when a lot of water through the rain threatens to flood our city areas. The Marina Barrage will pump out the water in the Marina Reservoir. With climate change, we probably have to put in more pumps or even increase the barrier heights of the barrage and other steps must be similarly taken around Singapore. Food supply will also be challenged in a climate change scenario. Everybody will be challenged to produce enough food even for themselves. Which is why we have launched our own 30 by 30 strategy, which means challenging ourselves to be able to produce 30% of our nutritional needs by 2030. We must punch above our weight and participate in international conferences as well as help other countries in tackling climate change. For citizens like ourselves, simple things can make a big difference. Let me propose to you what I call one, two, three actions that we can do in our daily lives to make an impact. One, can we increase the temperature setting of our air conditioning by one degree? Two, can we reduce the amount of time we spend in the shower by two minutes? And three, let us practice the three hours better. Reuse, reduce and recycle.